under control. Your form was perfection. Show me a few of your best moves. Keep your eyes off me and on these Republic dogs. Since you finally disabled the Republic's safety measures, I can force their power grid to go critical and... What? Ugh! The spaceport set to blow, but those blasted Jedi installed a failsafe. Let's find Sarek and rip the override code from his dead hands. Calm the evacuees. The transports will be ready any moment now. The Republic will not lose Terrace. Terrace's reconstruction dies here, with you. Finally, the intruders show themselves. I'm going to enjoy killing you, Serik. Darth Gravis is amazingly predictable. This is a trap, and you walked right into it. The evacuation transports that arrived weren't empty. They brought friends, ready to defend Terrace. Perhaps you're familiar with them? You'd need an entire fleet of reinforcements to take me down. I think we'll do just fine. This is it! Defend Terrace with your lives! Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> 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 
Too bad there aren't more of them. I was just getting warmed up. And what do we have here? Ah, Sarek's failsafe code. This in and then the power is over. So long, Republic. I know a nice private ship where we can enjoy the sight. Well, I suppose if there was ever a time for celebration. Wait a second. Those transports that brought Serex back up. They're loaded with civilians. They're actually trying to open the hangar. They'll escape the explosion. Lock the hangar doors. Make this spaceport their grave. My pleasure. Too bad we can't stick around to watch. This place is about to explode. Much as I'd like to see you disintegrated, I suggest you run. Or stay. See if I care. You've outlived your usefulness, Thana. Serik's gone, and his spaceport is in flames. Magnificent. I hear you demolish their assault cannons too. Crushing their base will be easy now. Darth Gravis will want to hear the details. That I do. 
But first, I want to personally thank our champion. Master Serek's death marks the end of the Republic's planetary restoration. Soon, Taris will be completely ruined. A tribute to the power of the Sith, the Empire, and you. As it should be. Your victory will be long remembered. But there's still the matter of Thana. She hasn't returned. And I no longer feel her presence on Taris. She served her purpose, so I disposed of her. I suspected as much. You've proven to be the more powerful Sith. Thanks to your actions, Taris will stand as a shining testament to the Empire's supremacy. And like Darth Malak, you'll be remembered as the Sith responsible for securing this planet's destruction. What's on your mind? Nothing. Why, you expect me to be all mopey? It's too nice outside. Let's play two truths and a lie. I tell you three things about me, and you tell me which isn't true. I'll play along. Go ahead. Okay, here goes. I've been in jail 16 times. I've got three sisters. I've worked as a hired assassin. Which one is a lie? You are far too young to have been in jail that many times. Ha! <laughs> totally wrong. Six times on Nar Shadda alone. Okay, enough games. I wouldn't want someone to start thinking the Sith were getting fun. You've got a serious look in your eye. First time for everything. Okay, so I've been thinking about you. About me. About all of that. You're a super powerful Sith Lord who can have anything he wants. I'm a former slave and a thief. And you chose me? Seriously? You're beautiful, charming, sometimes crazy, and always exciting. What man wouldn't choose you? Um, yes. Speechless. To be continued. Until later, then. Yeah, later. Master, remember the last Imperial port we were docked at? Because I don't. I think I partied a little too hard there. I vaguely recall an Imperial soldier. I think he and I uh, got to know each other. Either that or... I might have killed him. Or both, maybe. It's fuzzy. Don't get confused, Jaser. Being Sith is not about rampant hedonism. Really? Why not? I work hard, why can't I play hard? But don't get me wrong, I'm not really interested in nameless, faceless, possibly lifeless grunts. I reserve my interest for much more accomplished men. You're staring at one right now. Now look, you've gone and made me blush. You'll see, I'm a quick learner. I, I won't be so clumsy next time. Until then. Thank you for granting me this audience, Master. I'll only take a moment. I have nightmares. 
I'm wearing the plain robe of the Jedi. When I wake up, I giggle like a small girl. I'd like to see that. In your presence, that giggle would be a full-bodied laugh. I've come to realize that my appreciation of you puts me at odds with the precept of the Sith way. It is expected that an apprentice will eventually seek to overthrow her master. You'll never have to worry about that. I'm glad to hear it. That's all. Thank you for this time, Master. My lord, I'm receiving reports of a failed military incursion. It seems one of our special ops battalions was following shaky intel and walked into an ambush. We're the only ship in the sector that can relay their distress calls to high command. Permission to transmit their coordinates for extraction. Do it. Immediately. Yes, my lord. Hopefully the consequences of this blunder can be lessened. Apprentice, the Ward Trust dismantling has been your finest hour, but a new challenge arises. One of our missing targets, Admiral Monk, has revealed himself. As you may recall, my master Darth Vengeance set off to conquer the fringe systems and inspire the Dark Council to reignite the war. Somehow, Admiral Monk caught wind of the plan and was waiting in ambush. He is laying siege to the flagship as we speak. The plan was secret. Do you think there's a leak? Information is a funny thing. It trickles in unexpected ways. Leave those concerns to me. Plan Zero calls for Admiral Monk's head. This may be our only opportunity to crush him. Our flagship is commanded by Moth Maskin. Fly to the space battle immediately. Board his ship and stop Admiral Monk's siege. <laughs> 